Welcome back. In this video, I'll be looking at 2.3 functions. 2.3 represents chapter 2, section 3 of the Pearson A level maths, pure maths year 1 textbook. Right, I'm going to start off this particular video by going through y equal f of x. First of all, what does the set of x values represent? Well, the set of x values represents the domain of the function. So I can write the set of x values represents the domain okay keyword domain of the function y equal f of x what does the set of y values represent well the set of y values represents the range of the function y equal f of x so i can write the set of y values represents the range keyword of the function y equal f of x okay now what does it mean by the roots of the function y equal f of x the roots of the function y equal f of x is just the solutions of the equation f of x equal to zero the roots of the function y equal f of x is just the solutions of the equation f of x equal to 0. So the solutions of the equation f of x equal to 0 graphically represent the x-intercepts of y equal f of x. So I can write in brackets x-intercepts. Let's have a look at some examples. Example number one, the functions p and q are given by p of x is equal to x squared minus 3x, q of x is equal to 2x minus 6, x is an element of the real number set. Find the two values of x for which p of x is equal to q of x. Okay, ladies and gents, the very first step is to set your p of x equal to your q of x. So the p of x is x squared minus 3x, you set that equal to q of x, which is 2x minus 6. Now you take everything to the left hand side. So if I do this, I get x squared minus 3x minus 2x plus 6 is equal to 0. I can simplify this quadratic equation to give me x squared minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. This particular quadratic equation can be solved by using the method of factorization. So if I factorize the quadratic, I get x minus 3 in brackets, x minus 2 in brackets equal to 0. The next step is to set each of the brackets equal to 0. So we have x minus 3 equals 0, x minus 2 equals 0. Hence, x is equal to 3, x is equal to 2. Therefore, the two values of x for which p of x is equal to q of x are x equal 3, x equal 2. Let's move on to example number 2. Find all the roots of the following functions. In part A, we've got the function f of x. In part B, we've got the function g of x. Okay, ladies and gents, let's go back to our note over here. The roots of the function y equal f of x is just the solutions of the equation f of x equal to zero. And these solutions represent x-intercepts. So let's have a look at the roots for f of x. We need to solve f of x is equal to zero. So I know what my f of x is. It is x to the power 6 plus 9x cubed plus 8. I set that equal to 0. Now there is a quadratic equation hidden within this particular equation. I'm going to rewrite this equation in the following form. I'm going to put in brackets x to the power 3. And then over here, I'm going to rewrite that first term as x to the power 3 in brackets to the power 2. So now we have a power 2 and over here we have a power 1 and we have a constant. So this equation is starting to look like a quadratic equation. Now I'm going to apply the substitution y equal x to the power 3. So let y equal x to the power 3. So I can rewrite this whole quadratic equation in terms of y. So if I do this I get y squared plus 9y plus 8 is equal to 0. 
So I can solve for y by factorising this quadratic. So if I factorise, I get y plus 1, y plus 8 is equal to 0. The next step is to set each of the brackets equal to 0. So if I do this, I get y plus 1 is equal to 0, y plus 8 is equal to 0. Hence, there are two solutions for y. We have y equal minus 1, y equal minus 8. But we're not solving for y, we are solving for x. So we go back to what our y is, it is x cubed. So I can write x cubed is equal to minus 1, x cubed is equal to minus 8. Hence now I can solve for x by taking the cube root of the right hand side. So if I do this, I get x equal cube root of minus 1, which is x is equal minus 1. Over here, I get x is equal cube root of minus 8, which is x is equal minus 2. So the two roots of the function f of x are x equal minus 1, x equal minus 2. Graphically, these two x values represent the x-intercepts of f of x. Right, moving on to part b, we want the roots of g of x. Okay, so we are solving g of x is equal to 0. I know what my g of x is, it is just this over here. So I can write 2x to the power 2 over 3 plus 2x to the power 1 over 3 minus 12 equal to 0. Right, somehow I want to turn this particular equation into an equation that looks like a quadratic equation. So what do I do? Well, I can keep the minus 12 as it is. This term over here, I can rewrite it as 2 brackets x to the power 1 over 3 and the first term I can rewrite it as 2 bracket x to the power 1 over 3 and power 2 on the outside. Now we have something that looks like a quadratic. Power 2, power 1 and a constant. The next step is to, to let y equal x to the power 1 over 3. So now I can rewrite this particular quadratic equation in terms of y. So I get 2y squared plus 2y minus 12 is equal to 0. This particular quadratic equation can be solved by using the method of factorization. So now I'm going to factorize this quadratic. The factorization is 2y minus 4y plus 3 equal to 0. I can proceed in the next step and that next step is to set each of these brackets equal to 0. So I have 2y minus 4 equals 0 y plus 3 equal 0. Hence the two solutions for y are y equal 2, y equal minus 3. But I'm not solving for y, I'm solving for x. So I need to go back to what my y is. It is x to the power 1 over 3. So x to the power 1 over 3 is equal to 2. x to the power 1 over 3 is equal to minus 3. But x to the power 1 over 3, ladies and gents, is the same as cube root of x, laws of indices. So we have cube root of x is equal to, cube root of x is equal minus 3. Now I can solve for x by taking the cube on both sides. So if I take the cube on both sides, we know that the cube cancels out the cube root. So we have x equal 2 to the power 3, x equal minus 3 to the power 3. So 2 to the power 3 is 8, and minus 3 to the power 3 is minus 27. So the roots of the function g of x are x equal 8 and x equal minus 27. These x values represent the x-intercepts of the graph of g of x. Here is an exam style question. The function f is defined as f of x is equal 3 to the power 2x minus 28 multiplied by 3 to the power x in brackets plus 27. x is an element of the real number set. Part a, write f of x in the form 3 to the power x minus a in brackets multiplied by 3 to the power x minus b in brackets, where a and b are real constants. Part b, hence, so you need to refer back to your answer in part a, find the two roots of f of x. Let's have a look at part a. The very first step is to write down the function f of x. So we have f of x is equal to 3 to the power 2x minus 28 multiplied by 3 to the power x in brackets plus 27. My next step is to rewrite the first term, which is 3 to the power 2x, as 
3 to the power x in brackets to the power 2. Laws of indices. Okay, and now I can let y equal 3 to the power x. That's my substitution. I can rewrite this whole thing in terms of y. So if I do this, I get y squared minus 28y plus 27. I can factorize this. Okay, so if I factorize, I get y minus 1, y minus 27. Now, I want my answer in this particular form, so I can replace the y's with 3 to the power x. If I do this, I get 3 to the power x minus 1, 3 to the power x minus 27. So, this function here can be expressed in this form, which is this form over here. That completes part A. Let's have a look at part B. Hence, so we're going to refer back to our answer in part A, find the two roots of f of x. Okay, so if I want to find the roots of f of x, I am solving f of x equal to 0. So I'm going to be using my f of x in part A, which is this one over here. So I have 3 to the power x minus 1 in brackets, 3 to the power x minus 27 in brackets. I set this equal to 0. Now I can proceed forward by setting each bracket equal to 0. So if I do this, I get 3 to the power x minus 1 equal to 0, 3 to the power x minus 27 equal to 0. Okay, so taking it a step further, I can write 3 to the power x is equal to 1, 3 to the power x is equal to 27. Let's have a look at this equation. I need to work out the value for x such that 3 to the power x is equal to 1. This value for x is 0. 3 to the power 0 is equal to 1. Let's have a look at this equation. Again, I need to find the value of x such that 3 to the power x is equal to 27. This value of x is x equal 3. 3 to the power 3 is equal to 27. 3 to the power 3 is 3 times 3, which is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. So the two roots of f of x are x equals 0 and x equals 3. These x values represent the x-intercepts for the graph of f of x. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe.